One of the biggest misconceptions about minimalism is that people think minimalism means not buying things or not owning lots of stuff, but it's not true. On the contrary, minimalism encourages you to actually gather things that makes you happy, things that add value to your life. It, can, it kind of encourages you to shop and gather things mindfully and to maximize value from the things that you do have. And one of the ways to practice mindfulness or shopping mindfully is for you to ask yourself certain questions before you go ahead to click purchase. Shopping and buying things and gathering things is easier now than ever before. Thanks to e-commerce and social media, we can buy and own things like this. It's so easy and we'll have things being thrown at us every single day, every single minute. Literally, practically every platform right now has shopping integrated. So you don't even have to go to Amazon or go to your neighborhood market to buy stuff. Right there and then in your phone, you can literally buy practically anything that you want. And that's easy and it's convenient. But at the same time, you can make, you know, more shopaholics of us. The reason you want to shop mindfully and ask yourself this question is that one it saves you money and that's always welcome it saves you money so you don't buy things that you don't need or things that don't suit you also you save time because the time is taking to shop have things try return them or give them out or whatever it just saves you time and then you're able to shop responsibly and you also save more space the less junk you have to worry about or the less useless things you have to worry about in your life the more space you have literally and figuratively i'm minimalist myself so my shopping process is a little bit more like like in line with this but you don't have to be minimalist regardless of who you are or what your shopping habits are these questions will benefit you to ask when you're trying to shop or buy things and if you see my face and my content for the very first time hey hi hello hello my name is sky welcome to my channel over here i talk all things minimalist lifestyle and productivity everything is easy and chill out here so if you like the vibe you like what you're seeing you like what you're feeling watch my other videos give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and of course consider subscribing okay I've mentioned in previous videos that I have an ongoing shopping list on my phone, list of things that I want to buy in the near future, or even long term, I have a list on my phone and that list everything that I want to buy from big to small, even if I don't have active plans of buying them at the moment, I have it written down somewhere. So that I'm, when I'm trying to shop, I know that I am buying things from out of that list. Now you don't have to go that extreme because I know that it's not extreme. And most people don't, you know, shop in that manner. But regardless of how you're shopping, narrowing down to specifically what you want to buy, what exactly are you trying to buy? That kind of helps you eliminate other options and then you're focused on specifically what you actually want. Let's say you want to buy a pair of pants, for example, narrow down to specifically what type of pants you're trying to buy do you want to buy jeans do you want to buy dress pants is it chinos is it shorts whatever really but narrow down to specifically what you want if you want to buy a new car or you need to buy a new car narrow down to specifically what kind of car is it sedan is it mercedes is it toyota whatever it is narrow down to specifically what separate what you're trying to buy into either a want or a need you need to narrow down and be clear on if this is a want or if it's a need now both are valid sometimes you just want something not because of any deep reason but you just want it i just want to buy a new pair of shoes i don't have to have a deep reason and me wanting it is enough reason like you don't have to find something deep and meaningful but be sure or be clear on what it is that this item is is it a want or is it a need if the answer is that it's a want that's fine you can go ahead and purchase it it's good enough that you want it and you really really desire that item but if you find that it's a need then ask yourself why do i need this item why do i need it is a want or is it a need and if it's a need why do i need this item what is the reason why i need this item in my life right now when you think about this question honestly and you arrive at an answer that you are satisfied with as an answer that's coming from you by yourself honestly from your heart from your head and that it makes sense to you personally then you can buy if you you find that the reason you want to buy that thing or the reason you think you need that item is because of maybe peer pressure because you saw the ad or some influencer posted it or whatever frivolous reason that doesn't really make sense to you personally then you might need to take a pause on buying that item the next question is how how will i use this item how does it fit into my current lifestyle if it's a clothing item how does it fit into my current personal style my wardrobe how will i use it is it versatile does it go with other stuff that i own does it fit into my lifestyle does it make sense for me if for example i see a pair of gorgeous high heels 
gorgeous pair of high heels and my lifestyle is such that i have no need for heels or i don't go anywhere that requires me to wear heels or have an injury or have a bad knee or whatever it doesn't make sense for me to go ahead and buy those shoes regardless of how beautiful they look because shoes are not the code they're meant to be worn right so it doesn't make sense for me so you need to think about how that item makes sense to your current life to your lifestyle to your wardrobe what it means like in terms of how you're going to use that item is it versatile if it's clothing item maybe a minimalist means that clothing items that are buy have to make sense that's to be versatile for me to wear with a few things in my wardrobe not just a one-off item i don't think i have um any item in my wardrobe that i can't wear more than one way except for some dresses that are like their whole outfits on their own when it comes to tops and bottoms more often than not i know i can wear them with multiple things and that's how i'm able to get you know maximum wear out of any item that i have right now wearing this white simple white t-shirt and what is more basic than a simple white t-shirt but it's a very versatile piece of clothing even if this one goes bad and i want to replace it i know that i can always you know wear it for a long time i can wear it with so many different things and i know it's going to serve me so it's almost always a good buy when it comes to phones and gadgets these brands kind of market or this amazing camera quality or this amazing video quality or this and this and these specs and all those things sound nice but if you don't specifically need those items if it doesn't play into what your current lifestyle is let's say maybe you're a surgeon or you know you sell in the market or you don't have any need to take pictures or videos then that doesn't really make sense it doesn't really integrate into your current lifestyle so think about the how of that product and the how of that item how it plays into your life how it works with other things that you currently own that's one way for you to kind of slow down on shopping and then what value does it bring to your life what value does it represent for you are you trying to make money off of this item will it help you in your career will it help you in your personal life will it help you you know get your home more organized will it help you you know organize your space better will it help you i don't know smell better will it help your skin be better will it help so you have to ask yourself what value every item brings what you're trying to buy how does it add value to your life what is it so to be doing for you what role does it play in your life i know this seems like a very deep question but if you're asking yourself these things about most things that you buy you find that most things that we buy we buy them for no reason right so ask yourself what value that item brings to you or why that what that purchase is supposed to bring for you in terms of value some items perform functional roles in our life more than let me say pleasure or aesthetic some things let's say you are buying running shoes because you are getting on a fitness journey or you are currently on a fitness journey or you want the shoe to help you take more walks for example so that kind of makes sense so ask yourself what value that item is supposed to bring into your life ultimately we are trying to live richer more valuable lives and happier lives which is why the last question you should ask yourself before you buy anything is will this make me happier will this make me a better version of myself will this bring happiness to me like what will it do for me in terms of my level of happiness am i going to be happier am i going to be better as a person will i look more stylish will i be more richer whatever you need to ask yourself if this purchase will make you significantly happier if you ask yourself all these four questions before now and your answers kind of move towards the angle of you not buying that thing and this last question is a yes an honest resounding yes then maybe go ahead to buy that item but just do mind that, that that item might not bring so much value to you or it might not make sense to your current life or your lifestyle but if it makes you ultimately very happy if it makes you better as a person if it makes you more productive makes you you know elevate you from one level to another then maybe just buy it but i feel by the time you ask yourself these five questions you should arrive at a reasonable answer that will guide you in your shopping one advice that nobody asks me for which i feel we can all um, benefit from is that things no they feel Finish. like there'll always be more things to buy there'll always be another thing to buy another phone another car another shoe another fragrance there'll always be something to buy so don't let peer pressure and FOMO get you into shopping or a shopping habit that is not beneficial for you or that you don't even need shopping is fun but just ask yourself this question of course shop responsibly uh, leave me a comment down below in case you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe in case you haven't i'm gonna see you in my next video take care